Hi everybody, it's Greg here to do your tarot reading for Wednesday the 30th of September. Thanks for joining me. It's a real pleasure to be able to do these readings for you. So I appreciate you tuning in, listening to what I have to say. I know you have a whole load of choice, so I'm really grateful that you've chosen me today. So welcome to the video, welcome to the channel, and let's have a look at what's coming up for you today. I'm going to use the Druid Craft deck. And the cards are really big, so I think they just about fit here. Ish, kind of. I might have to move them a bit. Okay, so we've got a lot of swords here and a lot of conflict going on. Let's see what it actually means. You may be regretting that you tuned in now because it's going to be such a tough message. Let's see. First card is the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is in reverse, okay? And the way it is there, the Seven of Swords, you can see someone working very hard and it's not coming easy he's having to push and he's having to really force himself to get the the words onto paper it's in reverse and what that means is that it's not going to be hard things are going to flow naturally and especially in connection with this card you can see someone who's really just you know who's had it you know he's certainly not won the battle and um, Things haven't gone particularly well for him. So if you talk about your feelings, if you really let it all out, it's a great day to kind of cleanse yourself, to um, detox from negative thoughts and feelings, to really get it all out. You know, sometimes you go to your counselor and things and you don't really know what to talk about or you go speak to a friend and, you know, sometimes there isn't anything to say particularly, but sometimes you go and meet anybody, really, someone, and it just comes out like a waterfall and you're ready to just let it all out and to really just um, let go of all of that negativity. And today's one of those days. So it's important for you to connect and to communicate with someone. You can really get the negativity out. The five of ones, you can see here. And in this deck, it's interesting because it looks like a bunch of kids playing. That one looks a little bit malicious, but the other ones seem to actually be having fun. And the Five of Wands traditionally represents um, conflict, trivial conflict. We've got um, a cock there, so it's kind of posturing and preening, you know, for the sake of it. And I think this issue that you've got, the, the feeling of really being hurt or something, comes about as, a, as something that wasn't actually intended to be so serious, but it could have been someone you know, may, making an offhand remark or something that was supposed to be funny, but you don't find it funny and you take it really personally and it really upsets you and you really have to get serious and talk about what it triggered. So for instance, if I go to a dinner party and I'm telling everyone how amazing I am at, at um, reading and how well read I am and how educated I am, and then someone brings up a, a classic that everyone has read, and I haven't read it, then, and then they make a joke about, oh, you're not that well read, for instance, then it kind of shows me up. And I put myself in that position because I was boasting or whatever it is, but it's that kind of trivial thing that can really hurt and people can feel really exposed, especially when they're trying to build themselves up or when they're trying to look better. And that's really what I get for this day. So really, again, look at what your... Um, the way you come across. If someone does kind of um, tease you a little bit or, or says something in jest, try not to react. And if you do have hurt feelings and if you do find it painful, the way out is to speak about it. And the way is to um, let go of those thoughts and feelings. And you will even learn something about yourself. The Course in Miracles says that we're never angry for the reason we think. And I've noticed in my life that that applies to a lot of other things. So for instance, if I go home and I notice that the, the partner or the kids or whoever have thrown all the clothes around that I neatly stacked or that I asked them to put take out of the, the dryer and to hang up and it hasn't been done, something like that can really trigger a core belief. Like it can... It can seem like the laundry hasn't been done, but in truth, the way it feels inside of me is that you see there's proof that no one loves me. And that's the kind of thing sometimes we have to deal with because we all hold certain beliefs that can be triggered and can be kind of 
you know, activated and that can really hurt us. And the way through that is to work with them and not just sweep them under the rug and try and forget about it, but to get them out of there, pull them out by the root. And there's an opportunity to do that today. 7 and 10 is 17, plus 5 is 22. And 22 is a master number, and it's about relationships. So master number means additional responsibility and extra opportunity, and you can really improve the relationship with yourself on this day, and you can really discover something fabulous about yourself that you weren't aware of, and then you can build on that newfound information and, and um you can use that to build a stronger foundation within yourself. Okay, so it's a really amazing day of self-discovery. Make the most of it. Have a wonderful day. If you'd like a private reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab and you'll see the types of readings that I offer. I do astrology and tarot. And those allow me to look at all sorts of things. Um, life purpose, what's coming up for you in future, love life. All of those kind of things. So if you are interested, get in touch. And um, if you want to find me on social media as well, Facebook or Twitter, it's Gregory Scott 444 Have a great day and I'll speak to you tomorrow.